much because oil and wax and grease don't cost very much money. And if you throw in the water, which is 80 to 90 percent, 70 to 80 percent, and sometimes 90 percent of your moisturizing product, you can see that skin care companies don't want to kill the goose that laid the golden eggs because you're paying basically $20, $30, $40 for a one or two or three or four ounce product. It's mostly water and wax and oil, which costs pennies. Nobody's going to tell you. No skincare company is going to tell you that, tell you the truth about that. But even worse, not only are you not doing anything for your dry skin, which is an internal issue at the end of the day, not only are you not doing anything, but because your skin adjusts to the ambient humidity, the skin adjusts to dryness in the air or lack of dryness in the air, moisture in the air by upregulating or increasing its own natural moisture factors. When you put a moisturizer on, you deceive the skin into thinking it doesn't need to make any more moisture factors, and then you end up drier than you were before you use your moisturizer, and this is why we get addicted to our moisturizing creams and lotions. So not only are we not doing anything to really address the cause of our problems, where have you heard that before? That's, that's par for the course for our drug and pharmaceutical and medical mentality. Not only are we doing nothing for the original problem, but even worse, we're making the problem significantly worse. How do you like that? You spend money on a moisturizing cream, you don't help your dry skin, and you make your dry skin worse. On the other hand, if you use topical vitamins, topical nutrients, you can stimulate the skin to make its own moisture factors. Topical vitamin C in its right form, in its fatty form. Topical vitamin A especially are important. Topical vitamin E may help as well. If you use topical nutrients on your skin, you can help your skin make its own moisture factors. And if you take in internal nutrients, especially essential fatty acids, along with vitamin E, and perhaps vitamin A as well, you can help your skin make its own moisture factors. You can help take care of your dry skin from the inside out, and you can get all of the systemic internal benefits, including lower blood pressure, better brain health, reduction in inflammation, and chronic degenerative disease. You get all of these benefits, plus you really help your dry skin, and that's why I'm a skincare chemist and skincare formulator who really emphasizes nutrition and nutritional supplementation. All right, we're going to continue talking about essential fatty acids, and then we're going to get into our next amino acid, my favorite amino acid, super amino acid with four elements of nitrogen on it, arginine for growth, for bodybuilding, for blood sugar, for anti-aging, anti-wrinkles, and interestingly, for wound healing for the skin as well. We'll do that tomorrow as we continue on the bright side. I'm pharmacist Ben, 855-660-4261 is our number. Let's go to California and welcome Barbara to the bright side. Good morning, Barbara. What's going on? Oh, hi, Ben. And things that I've developed are allergy to vitamin B12. And okay. I, discovered, I discovered this when um, tangy tangerine changed their formula to beyond tangy tangerine. Okay. And, and um, I didn't really know that it was the B12 at the time, but um, when I first took it, I developed a, a almost very quickly a rash on my face, and my face got kind of puffy in my eyes. Okay. My Okay, hang tight now, Barbara. Um, let me make sure I understand this, okay? You switched from the vitamin, from the uh, Beyond Tangy Tangerine to the Beyond Tangy Tangerine 2.0, and you got an allergic reaction, right? Am I, am I, am I right so far? I'm trying to understand. Just, just yes or no, Barbara. Just, I, want to, I want to try to understand what you're saying, so just say yes or no. You switched from the, B12, from the BTT regular to the Beyond Tangy Tangerine 2.0, and you got a rash. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Yes. And now you're saying that that's because you're allergic to vitamin B12, right? And the reason that I believe that is that I stopped taking it, um, and and the rash went away. Okay. But um, then I took some vitamin B12 that I I had I had not taken it before, but um, I took it sublingually. It was in a dropper. And you, and you broke out again. And I got the very same reaction. Okay. Well, let me explain something. This because you're you're bringing up a very important point. Okay. So let me explain something. I'm not just talking to you. I'm talking to almost all our listeners here. Okay. You cannot be allergic to a vitamin. Period. Okay. End of story. Okay. Not only that, 
but you cannot be allergic to an essential nutrient. The reason I'm bringing this up is because I, you're not, this isn't the first time I've heard this. I hear from a lot of folks. People will tell me they're allergic to vitamin C. People will tell me they're allergic to iodine. You can't be allergic to something that's essential because the meaning of essential, and, and I'm guilty of doing this, and a lot of people are guilty of doing this. We, we brush by the word essential, and we say, oh, you need to have, essential means your body can't make it, but that doesn't really hit home. Essential, when you hear the word essential as an essential vitamins or essential amino acids or essential, uh, essential fatty acids, which we've been talking about, that means you're dead without them. I, I don't know how much more simple I could say this. You're dead without them. Now, it doesn't make any sense for you to be allergic to something that you would be dead without. That's not how it works because then you'd be stuck with an allergy or death. You know, so, so when we say essential, we mean essential like air. Just like you're dead without air, you're dead without vitamin B12. Now, fortunately, you're always going to get a little bit of vitamin B12, and, and your body stores vitamin B12 quite effectively. You've got probably months, maybe even years of vitamin B12 stored in your liver because it's that important. If you were to somehow figure out a way to eliminate all the B12 from your diet and all the B12 from your body, you wouldn't be with us very long. So you can't be allergic to a vitamin. That's The reason I'm bringing this up is because it's a very common misunderstanding. So that's first of all. Secondly, Allergic reactions typically only happen to peptides and proteins. That's because peptides and proteins tell the body that somehow something from another life form has gotten into the body. Peptides and proteins distinguish life. So the life, uh, uh, life of an, uh, uh, an insect is different from the life of a human being basically because of its protein content. The proteins in an insect are different from the protein in a human being. They're different from a protein in a leaf. They're different from a protein in a, in a cat or a dog or a cow or a goat. And what distinguishes life forms is the protein. So allergic reactions only happen to proteins because they tell the immune system that another life form has gotten inside the body. Vitamins don't do that. Essential fatty acids don't do that. Nutrients don't do that. Hang tight because I want to finish this up when we come back. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back after this. I'm Kay Swirling from KSCO Radio in Santa Cruz. I'm 93 years old, and I'm a big fan of Alex Jones because he has the courage to speak his mind more than just about anyone I know. Alex is just as bothered as I am about all the advertising you hear for toxic prescription drugs that make you sicker, not healthy. I prefer to give my body all 90 essential nutrients it needs for life to prevent disease not compounded. My favorite complete supplement is Beyond Tangy Tangerine from Longevity, which I take every day along with EFA Plus and Beyond Osteo FX. I recommend you go online to InfoWarsTeam.com to purchase these products and make them part of your daily regimen to get healthy and live longer. InfoWarsTeam.com so we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curb appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. Stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone at 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy and get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and 
installation. You control what you watch when you watch it. Record your favorite shows. Pause and rewind live TV. Even skip the commercials. Watch local channels, too. At just $19.99, what are you waiting for? Pull out your major credit or debit card. Call 1-855-905-MYTV. 1-855-905-MYTV. Say goodbye to the cable guy. Cut costs and get more. 1-855-905-MYTV. 1-855-905-MYTV. Americans have always been ready to defend, to serve, and to honor those who defended and are defending all of us. So this month, the freeze-dry guy honors and serves Americans with our meat, rice, and potato sale. Our unit includes four number 10 cans of quality Mountain House cooked diced beef, ground beef, diced chicken, white rice, and two cans of FDG dehydrated diced potatoes. 158 servings per case unit. And during the freeze-dry guy's meat, rice, and potato sale, get one case for only one 79, two cases for only $3.55, or get three cases for only $5.15, and all come with lots of valuable freebies. For details, click freezedryguy.com and hurry. Sale ends soon. Go to freezedryguy.com or call 866-404-3663. That's 866-404-FOOD. Plus, free shipping to the lower 48 states from the Freeze Dry Guy. The finest freeze-dried and dehydrated foods available anywhere for long-term storage. We are America's largest independently owned communications network, GCN. All right, we're back on the bright side. Barb in California. That was a kind of long-winded introduction. Uh, first of all, you can only be allergic to proteins because proteins identify other life forms, not vitamins, not essential fats, not, not minerals. The distinguishing feature between life forms is proteins, so the immune system has evolved to react to proteins as a, as a sign that an enemy has gotten into the body, an enemy life form. That's what the immune system does. So you're only going to be allergic to proteins. Secondly, you're not going to be allergic to any kind of essential f- nutrients that doesn't make any kind of sense because you need those essential nutrients. Thirdly, vitamin B12 is unspeakably important uh, for everything, and you only need it in tiny amounts. In fact, vitamin B12 is one of the most strangest of all the vitamins. If you look at the chemical structure of vitamin B12, it is incredibly complicated, incredibly complex, and very similar in a lot of ways to chlorophyll, the um, the active ingredient or the, the main component in plants, the element in plants that transduces the sun, sunlight energy energy into, uh, into uh, material energy, into sugar. So uh, vitamin B12, this is all to say, is really, 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 really important, and you can't be allergic to it, and you need to have it. So here's what you might want to do. There's different forms of vitamin B12, first of all. Uh, the methylcobalamin form is the more deluxe form. Uh, the typical form is called cyanocobalamin. Um, so uh, first of all, I would be using, if you have a problem with cyanocobalamin, you might want to try methylcobalamin, not that that's going to involve allergies. Secondly, Barbara, this is really important. Is sometimes in a product like the BTT, or uh, you said you tried a sublingual. Do you say sublingual or nasal? I think you said sublingual form of vitamin B12, right? Sometimes there's other ingredients in there that you may be reacting to, and that's where you might have a problem is with these excipients or, or carrier molecules, these things that they put into the products. When you're buying a nutritional supplement, oftentimes you'll have excipients with that product, excess ingredients that are used for the product, not for the vitamins or the, or the nutrients, but for the product itself to make the product flow better or to, make the, to preserve the product. You know what I'm saying? These are things that are put into the product, not for nutritional reasons, but for, to keep the product, to allow the product to do what it's supposed to do. So you may be having a reaction to that. That is much more common. So what I would do is I would try to experiment with different forms of B12, uh, and, and you can always get your B12 from liver and organ meats as well. That, those are the best sources of vitamin B12, algaes will also get you some vitamin B12. But you need vitamin B12. It's incredibly, incredibly important. And you're not going to be able to go without it anyway because you have it stored in your liver, as I say, and most, a lot of foods will contain a little bit of B12. But don't, don't try to stay away from vitamin B12 in a supplement. Try to find a supplement that you can take that has vitamin B12. That would be my recommendation to you. Okay? Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you so much. God bless, Barbara. All right. That was kind of a long-winded answer, but I think that's very, very important that we understand this distinction between allergy uh, stuff that you can be allergic to and stuff that you can't be allergic to. Okay, Laura in Florida, what's going on? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hi. um, 
my boyfriend listens to your show all the time, um, okay. and he urged me to call in today. My okay. question is about acne. Okay, good. Um, I've, I've suffered with pretty bad acne um, since I was 14. Okay. Um, I'm currently 20, okay. and I've done a lot of, like, antibiotics and gone through the whole dermatologist crap. Um, has it I helped am- you, has it? No, it, it absolutely hasn't. No. Um, it turned normal acne into cystic. Just How do you really like awful. that? So your your was, doctor took your acne and made it into cystic acne, and that's yeah. not the first time I've heard that. Congratulations, was, dermatologist, by the way. That's part right, of the course. Just, 